Them. Hide. Hide in the barn. In the barn. Mm. Oh, that's okay. You won't die. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, Grandma, should we go over this again? I take the Monday pills on Monday, the Tuesday pills on Tuesday. You know what I mean. It's important that you know what each of these do so you don't have another heart attack. I just needed a little jump start, that's all. I should be telling me you faked the whole thing to get me to come home from Afghanistan. You're on to me. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go in and help your sister with her homework? Oh, I already tried. She doesn't need my help. I can hear you. Well, maybe she just missed me. <laughs> Not really, no. She's growing up. We need to give her space. Grandma? Grace! What is it? It's Levi from next door. Levi? Elizabeth! My mother has been shot. She's with child. Please, she needs help. Uh, Grace? Here, here. Call 911. Keep this door locked, Grandma. I can help you. Where? Okay? Okay, I'm gonna take good care of you and the baby. I just need you to stay with me. Go on, it's okay. It's all right, I'm here. It's all right. It's all right, we're gonna take good care of you. Levi, the kinder. Take them to my sister, they will be safe there. I will. And then I'll come to be with you in the bed. Please. Will I lose the babe? Not on my watch, Mrs. Miller. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Mm. 
Albert? Sarah? Albert! I is the bad man gone? Yes. Yes, he's gone. Come. Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Crusade and Moon, why did they not come for us? Your Grace, Elizabeth, you can touch her. Thank you. This little pile of hay is my brother Albert. And this is my little sister, Sarah. It's nice to meet you. Diese Frau hat in Sarah Mata geholfen. Danke. I told them that you're the one that helped our mother. They thank you. You're you're welcome. Levi, can I give you a ride to your aunt's? Yes. I would be grateful. Dear Albert. Levi? Aunt Rose. Oh, it is good to see you. I, you have grown. Claire is not with you? A man came into our home. He had the gun. He killed Abraham. My sister? Ma'am, I'm Grace. I'm a medic. Claire's also been shot, but she's alive. She's been taken by ambulance to the hospital. They're focused on saving her and the baby. Baby? Henry! Rose? Is that Levi? My sister has been shot. She was with child. Oh, my God. I would take it as a kindness. You would care for my brother and sister while I go to be with my mother? Yeah. Oh, of course. It would be good to get to know them. Your family will be in our prayers. You know, I don't uh, know that much about your uh, community. But I, I know what it's like to lose someone, and I'm very sorry. I will miss my stepfather. Elizabeth told me how your sister came to live with her. The car accident that took your parents. Yeah. It's good to have family at these times. You know, I haven't really been back here that much since. I, uh, I joined the Army after high school. They put me through college, and I was on active duty by 22. Do you not like it here? No, I'm, no, I, it's beautiful here. I just think, 
I never really felt a connection. I think your parents would have been very proud of you. Thank you. Uh, we're here to see Claire Miller. Are you Levi? I am. Hi, I'm Dr. Allen. I operated on your mother. Her wounds were serious, but you got her here quickly. I'm expecting a full recovery. And then the baby? We had to do an emergency C-section. He's under observation in the NICU upstairs. My mother had a son. Levi, sorry for your loss. Thank you. Sheriff Newsom. Oh, Grace Connor. Oh, Elizabeth's granddaughter. Yeah. Nice to meet you. This is Deputy Small. Ma'am. Your Grace? Yeah, that's right. Claire asked to see you, actually. Uh, but I don't even know her. She was very specific. The English are named Grace. Go ahead. We need to ask Levi some questions anyway. This is all just standard procedure, Levi. OK. Paramedic said you're in Afghanistan. U.S. Army, dust off flight medic. Thank you for your service. Did you grow up around here? Uh, no, why? I've lived here my whole life. I admire the Amish for many things, but these are Schwarzentroopers. Schwarzentroopers? The most conservative Amish. That's what the Millers are. No plumbing, no refrigeration. They don't even allow phones for emergencies. It's never made sense to me. I, I didn't realize. If you hadn't been there, this story would have a very different ending. How are you feeling? You are Elizabeth Grace. She speaks of you often. My Abraham. He is gone. I'm so sorry. It's gonna be okay. Mrs. Miller, I'm very sorry for your loss. Abraham was a good man. Thank you. I know it's hard right now. I need to find out who did this. He was an Englisher. He wore a mask and gloves. Is he tall, short? I don't remember. It happened fast. You know why he would come after you and your husband? He spoke about the horse Abraham sold at auction yesterday. My husband gave him all the money, but he thought we had more. He, he was very angry. He pointed the gun at me. I ran away, and Abraham jumped. He tried. Abraham tried to protect you? Would a man do this? Abraham would give anything to someone in need. They don't need a gun. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Have you noticed anything unusual happening at the Millers? Anybody hanging around? No, but I've only been back a few days. I'm gonna swing by and talk to your grandmother and Becky. Yeah. You know, Sheriff, Claire said that that guy knew about the money from the auction. I mean, he would only know about that if he was from around here, right? Yeah, we've had a couple of robberies at the, in the Amish community recently. Well, the Amish, they don't fight back. It just makes them vulnerable. We've never had anything like this. Just a minute. Sheriff, I put the word out about Owen Peterson. Nobody's seen him. Owen Peterson? He's a local boy, convicted of drug charges. He got released from prison a couple weeks ago. Is he a suspect? Right now, I just want to talk to him. So I'm finished? For now, Levi, thank you. Thanks, Sheriff. Thank you. So your mother's resting comfortably. She just fell asleep. 
That's good. I would like to see my brother now. Come on. Too. Here he is. You have five minutes, okay? Then I need to take him back. Thank you, Doctor. Levi, this is Daniel. to be a good man. You know, Grandma, I didn't realize that you were so close to the Millers. Well, as close as an Englisher can be. <laughs> yeah, the, the doctor mentioned that they were ultra-conservative, even for Amish. Mm, swords and troopers. They can't even marry other Amish. They have to marry within their own sect. Hmm. Wow, that's so strict. I remember when Levi was a young boy, and I used to share books with him. He absolutely loved Harold and the Purple Crayon. That was allowed? Well, I think that Claire knew he had a more inquisitive mind than most boys his age. Abraham, though, he didn't want Levi to read anything but the Bible. So he came over here one day and told me to stop. Well, I saw some other members of their church already at his house today. Mm. They take great care of each other. And I'm sure they're over there cooking and cleaning, feeding the animals, watching the children. Mm. No, we uh, took the kids over to Claire's sister's house. Rose? Mm hmm And Claire knew about it? It was her idea. Claire hasn't spoken to her sister in over 10 years. I mean, they used to be so close, and then Rose married outside the sect, and family shunned her. I couldn't imagine never talking to you again. Decided to have some dessert outside. Watch the moon come up. Okay, Becky, I really wish that you wouldn't go out this late at night. Not, not when there's that crazy guy running around. It's a scary situation. Do you ever get scared? Yeah, every day. Hey. Look, what happened to the Miller family was terrible. And I know that you're worried, but they're gonna catch this guy and they're gonna put him away so that he can't hurt anyone else. But in the meantime, will you just promise me that you'll stay close so that me and Grandma don't have to keep worrying? Are you going back? You know what, it's late. I think we should talk about it. I heard you guys talking. I know it's time for you to re-enlist. They gave me a little extra time because of Grandma's heart attack, so. What are you gonna do? Honey, they really need me over there. And we need you here.
Elizabeth, you know the Millers as well as anyone. Have they talked to you lately about people making threats or anything like that? No, not at all. But you know, they're not much for talking. Yeah. Yeah. Levi's alibi checked out. He was at the blacksmith when it happened. You couldn't possibly think that Levi No, had... but we have to check everyone. And speaking of which, is Becky home yet? I'd like to speak to her as well, if you don't mind. She's still at school. I'll have one of my deputies swing by the next day or so. Whatever we can do to help, Sheriff. Any luck tracking down that Owen Peterson guy? No, but I wanted to mention something. It rained the night before the murder. and We found some muddy footprints, which I believe belong to our killer. Where? In the field behind your property. Now, we're constantly patrolling that area. Just keep your doors locked. Okay. Did Becky say which friend she was studying with after school? She's doing a project with Lily. She oh. said she'd be home for dinner. Hi, it's Becky. Leave a message. I'll get back to you. Hey, it's me. Uh, just wondering if you're on your way home for dinner. Give me a call. sneaking food out here, huh? Whew, scared me. <laughs> So, you've met. Yeah. Maybe we should call the shelter and uh, see if anyone's looking for him. I already did. He's officially homeless. You missed dinner. I left a couple of messages. Yeah, I turned off my phone so I could study. Well, Becky, this is exactly what I was talking about, about staying in close touch. I mean, we didn't know where you were. I'm not a kid anymore, Grace. I can take care of myself just fine when you're not around. Okay, but this is different. There's a dangerous man running around and Grandma really doesn't need anything else to worry about. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make anybody worry. You have a dog now. Uh, apparently, <laughs> no one's claimed him. Ah, animals know when they're wanted. This one would be happy to stay here for a while. <laughs> How's your mother? She and Daniel come home soon. Ah, oh, wonderful. Well, I'll uh, I'll come by and say hello. If that's okay when they get settled. I'd like that. For my, my mother. Yeah. I uh, noticed that your medical bag was falling apart. 
This should hold your things more securely. It has compartments with them. You made this, Levi? From the wit of a maple tree. Abraham taught me. It's beautiful. I, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. For all that you've done for us. This makes us even. Even? I thought it was a gift. No. No, that, that wouldn't be proper for me to give you a gift. Right. Um, okay. Then we're even. Okay, then. Sad day, Levi. At least Abraham is no longer part of this sinful world, but a man should live long enough to raise his children. Abraham would have wished to do so. It is your duty to be a father to the little ones now, and to help your mother. A duty I willingly accept. It would be a great comfort to your mother, Levi, if you were to select a good Frau. Most Amish men your age already have a wife and children. My daughter Zilla knows what it takes to run a Schwartz and Truba household. A sad day, Claire. But Abraham is with God now. Thank you, Zilla. Levi, if there is anything I can do to help bring comfort to your family, I hope that you'll call on me. We have been blessed by many from the church who have given their help. And knowing you since we were children has been a blessing for me. I must see to my mother. Oh, please, let me. God will. God will. Hello, Levi. Grace. Hi, Claire. Grandma sent this for your family. She said she wishes she could be here herself, but. She wanted me to tell you how sorry we are. Thank you, Grace. Ooh. He's not feeding well. Really? Uh, what does the doctor say? I have not spoken to the doctor. Would you come tomorrow to see what is wrong with my Daniel? Absolutely. First thing in the morning. It is time for us to begin. There will be no English spoken here today. My mother and I thank you for coming. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Grandma, what are you doing? You're supposed to be taking it easy. Well, this is my idea of physical therapy, honey. Does my heart good to cook for you girls. Uh-huh. Where's Becky? Uh, she's out back putting some boxes in her car for a school project. Hmm. She's really buckling down this year. I'm impressed. Yeah, she's volunteering more than ever at the church with the uh, prison ministry. Prison ministry? They write letters to the inmates to cheer them up. Oh, nice. Got some criminals as pen pals? <laughs> Don't worry, I spoke to Pastor Bruce. It's kind of like community service. Hmm. Oh, breakfast bacon, the most important bacon of the day. Ooh. I am gonna pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> hey, Dusty likes bacon too. Dusty? Uh, yeah, like what they call you when you're in Afghanistan. Dust off flight medic. He'll be like a reminder for us when you have to go back. I like it. 
dusty. It's perfect. We tried to tincture a fennel seed for colic, but it didn't help. Yeah, I'm not so sure this is colic. Claire, after you feed Daniel, how do you hold him? The same as all my babes. I want to try something. Did either of you get any sleep last night? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Why don't you go get some rest? I'll keep an eye on him. Danka. I know. See, this is what I love about babies. You little guys only cry for a reason. If I'm the reason, you stop crying. The rest of the world made that much sense. He's sleeping. Shh. I think I know what's going on. And if I'm right, everybody around here will be sleeping better. <laughs> you need to work on your brother's social skills. The women of our church keep us very well fed. I prefer the ones with the little chocolate pieces. Thank you. So it must be nice having your aunt around here after so long. Yes. She's sweet. Oh, it works very well. Levi, I'm going to be the envy of all the other medics when I go back. So you're going back to the war? Yeah, I think so. No, they really need me over there. But hey, I'm happy to have made a friend while I was back. Um, we are not friends, Grace. We can't be friends. Bishop Weaver, good morning. What are you doing here? We will care for this child. You are not needed. I think that's for Claire to decide. He's sleeping. Bishop Weaver. Rose Fisher, you must go. Our people will tend to Claire and this family. She is Schwartz and Truber. You are not. I am aware of who and what I am. I will see Abraham's wife now. My mother is sleeping. This is the first rest of the night in days. Levi, Abraham has been gone 10 days now. You will tell your aunt and this English woman to leave. Rose has been a great help in our time of need. And Grace saved my mother's life. Tomorrow, I will send my daughter to live here until your mother heals. She knows what it takes to run a Schwartz and Truber household. 
I will make lunch. Well, I still can. Thank you, Rose. I know he's your bishop, but I don't like that guy. It's hard to be sure, but I'd say he doesn't care much for you either. Do you remember what was there? Oh, gosh, it's been so long, I don't... Huh. Well, is anything else missing? Do you think this has anything to do with the robberies that the sheriff was telling you about? Didn't Grandpa keep a collection of fishing lures there? He always said those lures would fetch a pretty penny. That's so strange. Oh, I remember what was there. What? It was an antique mirror from my dresser. It had those sweet little drawers underneath. You remember, it was in the house forever. Mm. Grace, what is going on? Why would somebody want to take those things? Hmm. No, I should call the sheriff. Mm. All right. Thank you, Sheriff. I will. Bye-bye. Well, uh, they said that they'll send someone over a little bit later. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So I have to head into town to get a few things for Claire. You want to join me? Do you think I'm afraid to stay alone in my own home, Grace? No, of course not. I just thought you might like a change of scenery. You are not fooling anybody. But you just happen to be right, too. I, I am getting a bit of cabin fever. I must go before I bring more trouble to your family. This is not my wish, Rose. Nor mine. But your kinder miss you. They will be happy to come home. We will be very sad to see you go. You've been a great help. I will walk into town to call my Henry. He'll come tomorrow. I'm sorry we have no phone. We have learned lately it can be a blessing in need. God's will. God's will. I think I know why Claire's baby's struggling. Is that why we're going to town? Well, that plus your uh, cabin fever. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's Levi? I don't understand. You and Claire can be friends, but Levi and I can't. You said that? We, we are not friends, Grace. We cannot be friends. Well, that was no ordinary basket he gave you. So... Wait, what? what is it? That's Becky's car. Hey there. Hey. Hey. Something wrong, Deputy Small? No. No, I'm just talking with Becky here. Oh, okay. Well, will you mind telling me why you pulled her over? Uh, well, the sheriff asked me to talk to her about what had happened over at your neighbor's place the other night. Oh, okay. So you're just chatting with her out here in the middle of the street, embarrassing her in front of half the town? Oh, it's all right. I already told him I didn't see anything. OK. She said she didn't see anything. Do you have any more questions? No, no, ma'am. No, we're all good. You folks take care now. You too. Hey, you OK? I told you, I'm fine. What did he ask you? I gotta go. It's called infant gastroesophageal reflux. It's actually common with preemies. And what does this long word mean? <laughs> Just think of it as uh, baby heartburn. See, Daniel's little throat muscles aren't developed enough to keep the stomach acid down. That's why it's very important that after you feed him, you hold him upright for at least 30 minutes, okay? What about at night when he needs to sleep? Oh, that's what this is for. It's called an infant sleeping wedge. It'll let Daniel lie safely at an angle so that the stomach acids don't come up the wrong way. 
You know all this, but you have no children of your own. No, but four years in nursing school, six years in the field. The Army made sure I was well trained. Remember, 30 minutes. We will pay you for the veg. Do the Amish give each other gifts when a baby's born? Of course, this is their way. Ours too. Do you think this might have anything to do with whoever attacked the Millers? Have you found that Peterson boy yet? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Elizabeth. You know, try to make me a list of everything that's missing, and I'll get right on it. Sheriff, I don't even know what all is out here. How am I going to make a list? Just do your best, as soon as you can. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Deputy Small told me what happened in town. You're right. It was neither the time nor the place to speak to your sister. It won't happen again. Thank you. sorry about today. Like, I was just worried. I'm sorry, too. Um, what did the sheriff say about the stuff that's missing? Well, they're gonna look into it. So. Sorry. Is something wrong? I just need to take care of something. You want some help? It's just school stuff. <laughs> Becky, wait. Look, I, I don't know what happened with the deputy today, or what, but whatever it was, you know that you can trust me, right? No matter how long I'm gone. And, and you, you go and do whatever you need to do, but whenever you're ready to talk, honey, I'm here, okay? Okay. Levi? Levi! Hello! Uh, come, sit down. Your lunch is ready. I hope that you're hungry. Thank you, Zella. How long will your parents be able to do without you at home, Zella? Oh, my father told me to stay for as long as I want. Rose, my father told me that there's no reason for you to stay. He says that you must go back to your own family and your own church. I return to my family tomorrow. My father says because you are not sports intruders, we should not be eating with you. It was not a decision made easily, Zilla. Uh, yes, but my father has said Perhaps that- Perhaps you should not speak so freely on matters you do not understand. Let's pray. Hey there. Is Claire around? She's busy with the babe. Yeah, that's why I came by. I just wanted to see how the little guy was doing. The babe is good. I'm sorry, I don't think we got to properly meet. You were at the funeral, right? You're the bishop's daughter? Yes, I am Zilla Weaver. I'm Grace. Nice to meet you. Your basket. Where did you get it? Hmm. Levi made it for me. Isn't it nice? I will care for this family now. 
You are not needed here. Zilla. So this is where you come to hide. No, there's... There's something wrong. Everyone is asleep. I wanted to show you something. Show me what? Well, when my father told me I'd be living here, my mother and I spent all day sewing this beautiful new nightdress. Zilla. It's pink. Look. Zilla, please. Do you not want to see? You should go. I have waited so long for you. I wish for us to be husband and wife. My father says that we can be married right away. You should not say such things. Why not? I do not love you, Zilla. But, Levi, I, I could have anyone in our church. Any man would be very happy to be with me. Then you should choose another. Is that Englisher? You have feelings for her, don't you? There's nothing between us. Yes, you do. No, please, please go. What is this? Such things are not allowed, Levi. They are only books. They are of the world. Yes. Yes, they are. And I read them because they fill me with such ideas. There are so many different places, so many different kinds of people, more than you could ever imagine. Zilla, it would take your breath away. My father will want to know of this. Do what you think is right. Now please go. Go! I thought the barn was on fire. I almost called the fire department. What are you doing? You are an Englisher. You would not understand. You know what, you say that a lot like it explains something. A long time ago, people used to look up at the night sky. They would see shapes of Strange creatures and great men. They thought they lived up there. What do you think, Grace? Is that possible? I think they were myths. Because we know better now. In my church, we count our blessings. Should knowledge be a blessing too? Yeah, is that what she, is that what you believe? I started to read with Elizabeth after my father died, and my mother remarried. She opened my eyes to a whole new world. But for Abraham, there could be no other world. He was a good man, very strict. Elizabeth gave me my first book. I ran home to show my mother. When Abraham saw it, he burned it. Burned it? That's terrible. He was protecting me. You love these books, Levi. We have rules, Grace. If I don't accept them, I will be banned by the church. I will be shunned. Levi, let me keep the books for you. Give them to 
there's someone that will love them. be home again where they belong. And for you to return to yours. <laughs> Henry tells me that the cousins played and worked well together. This is good. Mm -hmm. Who knows when they will see each other again. What is that? I want to go home too. Already? We can drop you on our way. I cannot go with you. Levi, will you drive me? Your mother is feeling better? Much better, thank you. Her sister is gone, hmm? And the Englisher? You must see to your family, Levi, and not look to outsiders. Perhaps he does not have enough time to take care of his family because he's too busy reading his books. Is this true? I have no books except the Bible. I've seen them, Father. He has them in a secret room in the barn. Books on all sorts of things. Levi, tell me the truth. Did my daughter see these things? Yes, but I got rid of them after Zilla reminded me how wrong it was to own such books. You should know right from wrong without the help of my daughter, Levi. I'm very sorry, Bishop. You have confessed your sin and rid yourself of the evil things. We will speak of it no more. Thank you, Bishop. Come along, Zilla. Your mother will be glad of your help. Levi! Was he stars? A telephone? Is this yours? Yes. What are you doing with this forbidden instrument on your person? In case of an emergency like the day my stepfather was killed. Hunter, you have so little faith. You think God is not able to take care of such emergencies? I prayed to God that day, Bishop. I prayed for my mother. All I know is that without Grace Connor, I would have lost my mother and baby brother, too. No. No, this is too much. You must repent. I will expect your confession before the congregation on Sunday, and you will destroy this thing immediately. Excuse me. How did you get over here? Ugh. All right, you know what? We will feed a stray dog, but you gotta go back. Sorry, nothing personal.
You're doing very good. Why do you have Jacob? Jacob. Sarah named her. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, uh, Miss Jacob here was in my front yard. I don't know, there must be a break in the fence somewhere. Let's get her into the barn. Come on. Uh, Take good care of her. Is she was God's creature? I hope she was in too much trouble. Mm. You know, until this man is caught, you shouldn't be out alone. Oh, a homesick cow in my yard. Since you don't have a telephone, I didn't have much of a choice. Grace? I'm sorry. It's just the, the thunder. Right, so... Ooh. Is this from the war? Yeah. You know, mostly I'm fine. Um, sometimes something like that happens or I have a nightmare or something. And you still want to go back? I know you don't understand. Yeah, I, I, I miss my family, but I miss my team over there, too. They really need me. And you? What do you need? I save lives over there. It turns out you save lives here, too. probably shouldn't it? be like this, right? Those are my words to say. I guess. <laughs> that was a gunshot. Was that from the house? What happened? Are you all right? We are not hurt, but only by the grace of God. Although there's now a hole in the kitchen floor. What? Tell them, Albert. Uh, I found it today. Where did you find it, Albert? Uh, I was climbing the apple tree by the back fence. I looked down and saw on the weeds. Did you think it was a toy? No. Then why did you bring this thing that kills into our home? I wanted it. In case the bad man came back. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so you stay with the gun. I'm gonna go home and call the sheriff. I don't like you walking alone in the storm. Well, I'm not leaving that gun without adult supervision, and we can't ask your mom to oversee it, so unless you're hiding a phone somewhere in here, I gotta go. Did the boy see anybody else around when he found it? He said that it was just lying there. It's a 38, same caliber as the gun that was used to kill Abraham Miller. Three rounds have been fired. Counting the one that went off in the kitchen tonight, that'd be right. Can you check it for prints? We'll run a ballistics check, but this gun's been down in a wet field, and now all these people put their hands on it. Deputy Small will drive this over to Lexington to the lab, and we'll have our boys check it out. Thank you. And Grace, how about I give you a ride home? That'd be great. Thanks. Thank you for the ride, Sheriff. Oh, I wanted to show you something before you go, Grace. Look familiar? Uh, no. Owen Peterson, that local boy I was telling you about. Just got out of prison, and now he's vanished. So you still think he did it? Oh, for sure, but if he wasn't mixed up in something, I think he would have turned up by now. Well, obviously, his prints are in the system. If you get a match on the gun, then... Exactly. Meantime, you see anybody with this mug, you let me know. Will do. Hey, here, let me get that for you. Oh, hey. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's 
good, thanks. Well, it looks like the sun finally decided to come out. Yeah. Something tells me you weren't just here to help me with my groceries and chat about meteorology. <laughs> you got me. You actually saved me a trip. Yeah, the sheriff asked me to come down and let you know ballistics matched on the gun found by the Amish boy. So it's the murder weapon. They also pulled a partial print off one of the bullets in the chamber. Did the uh, sheriff mention anything to you about this fellow, Owen Peterson? Did you find him? No, but he's around. How do you know? Well, it turns out he's been writing letters with a bunch of folks down at the church, some kind of program for... Uh... Yeah, the prison ministry. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Peterson's been writing these letters, talking about how he can't wait to have a fresh start. This fellow Peterson, if he is the killer, good chance he's going to stick around here and try to get as much money together before he skips town. I mean, do you think that he's the one that stole my grandma's things? Hard to say. Yeah, hard to say. I'll get back to you. Thanks. Becky, call me back as soon as you get this. Oh, hi, Grandma. It's me. None... Yeah, no, I'm on my way back, but... Hey, is Becky there? Do you know where she is? No, 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 no. Everything's fine. Um, just... Can you ever give me a call if she gets back before I do? Thanks. Okay. Albert, we'll be home soon. There's the Connor's driveway. You see? Almost there. Wait here. Grace? 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 I thought I heard you moving around. How you feeling, honey? Mm. I'm okay, Grandma. <sighs> Gracie, you gave us quite a scare last night. Yeah, well, nothing's broken. Just a few bumps and bruises. I'll be okay. It was Levi's buggy, wasn't it? He was taking Sarah and Albert home. He had the children with him? It's okay. Nobody was hurt, thanks to you. I couldn't even see him. Why doesn't he have any reflectors? Swords and troopers don't use them. Believe it or not, they consider them too decorative. Deco? That is completely ridiculous. Well, you can tell him yourself. Yeah, well, I will. Next time I see him. He's here. He has been all night. Grace, you're well. Yeah. That is good. I will get the horses and I will pull your car out of the ditch and then I, I, I will fix the fence. That way uh, the cows, they, they won't bother you anymore. And How are Albert and Sarah? They were frightened. Sure, so sorry. It's not your fault. Levi, I don't understand. Why don't you have reflectors on that thing? You don't want to drive a car or have electricity, fine. But reflectors? 
You're putting those children in danger. I, I know how much you love them. It is not my place to question this. I, I saw the car coming last night. It's coming so fast. I knew that you couldn't stop in time. All I could think about was Daikinda. I'm questioning many things. What is to become of us, Grace? What do you mean? I... I care for you so much. But it would mean I leave the church. No, Levi, I, I would never let you do that. I would never let you choose me over your family. But you care for me. Yes. Now that we know this. No, now that we know this, you need to go home. Levi and I need to re-enlist and go back to Afghanistan. Bishop. Good morning, Bishop. Zilla, I need to speak with you, Levi. You and Zilla are to be wed in two weeks' time. What? We make the announcement on Sunday. No, uh, Bishop, I, I do not want to marry your daughter. Well, you should have thought of that before. Before what? She has already told me what happened. The two of you bundled one night she was here. Bundled? That's not true. Zilla, tell him the truth. Oh, Levi, please don't abandon me now. Not after all the things that you said that night. Bishop, your daughter is not telling the truth. I know for a fact she speaks the truth. You told me yourself. You said you rid yourself of those books after she came to your room in the barn. You cannot deny it. She came to my room in the barn, yes. She wanted to, yes, but I never... I will not allow my daughter to be disgraced. I have had my eye on you for some time, Levi Troyer. I have seen how restless you are. Do you think the church will take your word over my daughter's? I do not know what the church will believe, but I know the truth. And the truth is, I did not do this! You must pray, Levi. Pray that God will reconcile you to being a faithful husband to the innocent girl against whom you have sinned. I will pray, Bishop. I will pray that Zilla will come forward and make this right. You will confess your sin, or you will be put under the Maidong. You will be shunned. I will not confess to a sin I did not commit. Two weeks, Levi, two weeks, and you will confess, and you will be married. I can't tell you how glad I am to come to town and not have to see a doctor. <laughs> Just don't overdo it. Well, I could say the same about you. Oh, I'm fine. Just, I've got a lot on my mind. Are those your grandfather's lures? Yeah, come here for a second, Grandma. Hey there. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm wondering about those fishing lures in the window. They look pretty old. They're antiques. The young woman who brought them in said they belonged to her grandfather. He seemed quite upset, but she said she needed the money, so uh, would you like to see them? Uh, actually, do you have any antique mirrors about mm, so big? Oh, it's funny you should ask about a mirror. That same young woman brought one in just a few days later. I, I think you're going to like it. Something like that? Becky, it's me. Where are you? I know you're getting these messages. Call me back right away. Hey. 
I did not do these things that Sula accuses me of. Please believe me. I do believe you. But the Maidong... If you are put under the ban, the rest of us have no choice but to observe the bishop's decision. I know. Even you. How can I abandon my own? But how can I ignore the Maidong? If I am shunned, I will not be allowed to take the children to church. My friends will not speak to me. They will not buy our crops or the baskets we take to market. How can I feed your brothers and sister without the money we make? You must have faith that the truth will come out. And if it does not? Then you must obey the Maidong. You must shun me. Yeah, hi, Deputy Small, this is Grace Connor. I'm, I'm looking for the sheriff. Okay, well, do you have any idea when he'll be back? Um, can you just, can you just tell him that I think he was right about Owen Peterson and that I, I really need him to come out here as soon as possible? Thank you so much. All right. What is it that you're not telling me? Uh, do you remember those letters? that Becky was writing through the ministry? Well, they were going to an inmate named Owen Peterson. Pretty soon they were writing back and forth directly to one another, and this is actually from him. Listen to this. I just found out that they're releasing me early. When I get out, we'll finally meet face to face. I can't wait to see you, sweet Becky. And uh, apparently Peterson was released just before the Millers were attacked, and the sheriff thinks that he was in the area at the time. And then on top of that, Deputy Small told me that they found Peterson's fingerprint on one of the bullets in the gun that was used to kill Abraham. And even if Becky was helping him after she heard that he'd shot Abraham and Claire, you'd think she'd tell us unless he threatened her. Do you think he got her to sell the lures in the mirror? I don't know, but I just want her home so that we can help her out of this mess. <sighs> this is my fault. I should have been here. She needed me. Oh, no, Grace, please, no. Grandma, I want you to go over to the Millers and stay with Levi and Claire until I get all this settled here. No. I'm not leaving you here alone. Hey, that's an order. Grace. Okay, Becky, you need to come here right now, quickly. Grace, no, I'm helping Owen get out of here right now. Owen is not who you think he is. He has done terrible things. I swear I didn't do anything. Don't. Owen didn't attack the Millers. Honey, his fingerprints were on the bullet, okay? I talked to Deputy Small. The sheriff is on his way here right now. You told Deputy Small? Of course I did. He's dirty, Grace. He's a drug dealer and a blackmailer. Owen was working for him when he got arrested. You dealt drugs for small? I did. I was an addict, but Becky's letters helped me change. I I'm all done with that. She helped me on the inside, and now she's still helping me. But your fingerprints were on the bullet. Small is lying. He was waiting for Owen when he got out, told him that he had to keep working for him, said that Owen owed him $10,000. Owen didn't have that kind of money, so I had to help him. Is that why you were selling Grandma's things? I'm sorry, Grace, I had to. Small said that if he didn't get his money, he was gonna hurt Grandma. After what happened in the Millers, I knew that he would. You're right. 
To be honest, never my intention. Didn't expect the old Amish man to jump me. But since you made it so clear that Owen here is done selling, there's nothing that would make me happier than to pin a murder or three on him. Leave us alone. We already paid you. I'm afraid money's no longer the issue here, kiddo. Not since your sister decided to get in the middle of it. Now, it's nothing personal. Just not a big fan of witnesses. Okay, you can't kill all three of us. It'd be impossible to explain. <laughs> oh, is it? How about this? I got your call. So I drove out to investigate. I heard shots, and I came in and found that Owen had shot you two ladies with this. Look familiar, Owen? No, it should. It's registered in your name. Then he pointed his gun at me, and I shot him with my service pistol. How's that sound? Sounds like I chose a good time to come for a visit. Oh. Don't move. Trust me, I know how to use this thing. Roll over. Roll over! You guys all right? It's over. sling for that shoulder. I'll be okay. I uh, have to take Becky downtown to make a statement. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm not a very good Schwarzenbrugger, but I've known this for some time now. Levi, you are a good man. Ah, but I have rebelled against many of our rules. When the man who killed Abraham was threatening you, my heart was not full of forgiveness. I understand now why Abraham fought to save the life of my mother. Even though this is not our way, I must fight to protect the lives of my family. And I've got feelings for an Englisher. I, I do love the people of my church, but I can no longer follow the rules. So you're leaving the church? Mm, I am. And your family? I don't know. I don't know. Here you go. Thank you. <clears throat> Becky and I had a long talk this afternoon. Good. About you. Oh. We want to tell you how we feel. When you joined the army, your parents didn't try to stop you, and neither did I. I think we all kind of understood that you were looking for something something that you didn't think you could find here. Grandma, I don't know. I know you have to answer that email. Before you make a decision, I'd like you to consider that maybe whatever you're looking for could be right here in front of you. What Grandma is trying to say is that she wants you to stay, and I want you to stay. And Dusty wants you to stay. So, it's settled. So I don't get a vote? Nothing? Well, sure, but it would be three to one, so it wouldn't matter. Okay.
might like these back. Oh, thank you. Oh, but there's fine. That's a nice sling you got there. You know, maybe someday I will grow to appreciate your sarcasm. I got you a present. Ready? What is this? It's a library card. I really can't wait to take you there someday soon. They have a lot of books. Thank you. So I saw uh, Bishop Weaver and Zilla, they were leaving. Oh, uh, Zilla came to admit that she made up her story? She's just jealous and she made a mistake. So what happens, will she be shunned? No, she's the bishop's daughter. She will confess in church and she will be forgiven and life will go on. It's ironic, isn't it? And you, Levi, what about you and your family? Well, my family decided to change to a new order. They're going to join my Aunt Rose and my Uncle Henry. And you? No. But the rules in the new church allow for contact with those of different faiths. So it's good. It's the right decision for all of us. I made a decision, too, about re-enlisting. So, Dr. Allen offered me a position at the hospital. And I think you might be stuck with me. Oh, that's good. Really? That was very good, yes. Uh, it's, it's a blessing to know that you'll be nearby to help me find my way in the English world. I do know who thinks. What's up? I know that I love you, Grace Connor. I love you, too. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's, what's the second thing? I know where to find a book on English weddings. <laughs>